Hey guys, so I wanted to come and show you my face of today, just the products that I use to create this look. And I'm going to get started. I filled in my brows using a black brown type of, um, it's a eyeliner pencil. And I filled in using some black eyeshadow. And I used the concealer to actually clean up the lines of my, uh, my eyebrows. And on my lid, my eyeshadow primer was the Ruby Kisses eyeshadow primer. And then I followed up using my Painterly uh, Paint Pot by MAC. As you can tell the name right there. And then for the um, about one third of my eye underneath here, just a little in my tear dip tear duct area. I use my Maybelline 24 hour tattoo in Silver Strike. And look how gorgeous that color is. Love that. Then the remaining of my eye, I use my Lorac Pro Palette. And I use the color, oops, I dropped this and now the new want to come out. Okay, so is the slate. I covered my entire eyelid in that color and I did bring it a little over my crease area and blended it with uh, taupe, my transition color. And then I took, take this back out, I took the black and then I went into my crease and outer V to smoke it out. And then I mixed the slate and the black together and I smudged underneath my eye. Um, and then I used a black liner for my waterline. My eyeliner is the Maybelline Line Stiletto Eyeliner. Great Lash by Maybelline. My mascara. My lipstick is 902C by Wet n Wild. And I just put a clear gloss on top. And to set my concealer on my nose and underneath my eyes, um, which I use the NYX HD concealer um, for that and under my eyes. And to cover my blemishes, I use the Black Radiance um, concealer. I believe this is medium dark. It's CA8010 um, to co cover my blemishes before doing my foundation. And I really, really like it was my first time using it, and I purchased it forever ago. Um, but I used it, and for my skin finishing powder, I used my Mineralize Skin Finish by MAC in medium deep. My blush is Love Joy by MAC, and for the shimmer on my uh this area here i use the new wet n wild fergie collection shimmer bronzer and golden rose champagne rose golden rose champagne whatever that name is i butchered it i'm sorry um and also i think that's it my foundation was the clinique even better blah 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 got that so that's how I created this look my um, brow bone highlight color was also from the Laura palette and in champagne that was the color that I used and I did drop my palette this morning and so my nude color is just it, it's crumbling right there but I did use the champagne um, to do my brow bone area. So that's what I used to create this look. And I went, I'm not going to say I went to record it this morning because when I started doing my makeup, I got halfway into it and decided I should have recorded this because it wasn't in my plans this morning to actually record a makeup tutorial or to wear makeup, period. I, um, yeah, it just was not. So I'm going to try to like somehow in my bathroom set up 
to where I can do that without having to have clutter in my bathroom that when I sit down and do my makeup, I can just hit record and you guys have a video. So yeah, that's what I did to create this look. I hope you guys like. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Please continue to support my channel while I bring you new things. My hair. Let me speak about that. Um, because you got, as you guys know, I told you in previous videos that I have been like extremely sick. And I've uh, had such terrible headaches that I really haven't wanted to touch my hair. So I am into the second week without washing my hair. I know that's horrible. But my hair is in twists. Um, I do keep it moisturized with my Black Vanilla Leaving Conditioner by Carol's Daughter at Spritzstead at night. On my hair, I keep my scalp oil with grapeseed oil, coconut oil, and so forth. But I just have not taken down my twist. I have not felt like touching my head. Um, today is actually the first day that I just felt better. Um, so, yeah, that's what's going on with my hair. So, but to keep it looking so neat, and right now, my daughter's been on top of my head, but um, what I've done, what I have done, I'll um, show you, is I have French braided the back of my hair um, with my twist to give it more of a sleek, polished look. Um, because I don't want to take down my twist and I'm not going to take down my twist until probably Saturday. So I'm going to continue to rock my hair in this French braid, one French braid going down the back. And at nighttime, what I'm using is just putting on my scarf and then my bonnet. Um, and I'll spritz my edges and put some curl control paste by curls, um, to smooth down my edges just to hold it back. So it can look very neat and polished. So that's what I'm doing to my hair right now. So it is very much in a protective style mode and mode. And I will take it down Saturday and wash and deep condition my hair and probably will put my hair back into the twist because this is so convenient for me right now. So if you guys have any questions, please leave them below and I will see you on my next video. Bye.